As the A320neo family continues to dominate the global single-aisle market becoming the best-selling commercial aircraft program in history and surpassing Boeing's 737 in total deliveries by the end of 2025, it would be easy to assume that Airbus has already won the narrowbody race. With more than 12,000 aircraft delivered and a backlog exceeding 7,000 orders, the A320neo is everywhere flying for airlines on nearly every continent. Yet here lies the paradox at the very peak of its success. Airbus is already planning its replacement. So why would Airbus invest billions into a new aircraft when its current one is selling better than ever? What will this aircraft look like? Let's find out. There is no question that the A320neo represented a major leap forward. Compared to the previous generation, it delivers roughly a 20% improvement in fuel efficiency and carbon dioxide emissions, a transformative gain by commercial aviation standards. But for Airbus, 20% is no longer enough. The aviation industry is now under unprecedented pressure from governments, regulators, investors, and the public to meet the goal of net zero emissions by 2050. Incremental upgrades to an existing platform simply cannot deliver the deeper efficiency gains required. Airbus understands that pushing the A320neo any further would run into diminishing returns. To move the needle again, a clean sheet foundation is required, one that rethinks engines, aerodynamics, materials, and systems from the ground up. Interestingly, the maker does not describe this program as revolutionary. CEO Guillaume Fauré has repeatedly emphasized that the future narrowbody will be evolutionary rather than revolutionary. But this should not be mistaken for a lack of ambition. The manufacturer is deliberately avoiding overly radical solutions that could jeopardize certification, operational reliability, or airline acceptance. In the high-volume single-aisle market where profit margins are thin, and dispatch reliability is critical risk tolerance is extremely low. Instead, the manufacturer is pursuing carefully selected breakthroughs, advanced aerodynamics, new materials, and next-generation propulsion systems that can be integrated without breaking existing airline operations or airport infrastructure. The goal is progress that is bold but controlled. This philosophy reflects Airbus's core strategy, innovate without destabilizing the ecosystem. Another key driver is Boeing. Although the 737 MAX program continues to face challenges, reports in September 2025 confirm that Boeing has begun early exploratory work on an all-new single-aisle aircraft. Under CEO Kelly Ortberg, the company has initiated preliminary studies on aircraft architecture, cockpit concepts, and most notably, engine options. These discussions reportedly include potential engagement with Rolls-Royce, signaling a possible shift away from CFM. While Boeing's program remains in a very early phase with entry into service unlikely before 2040, the signal is unmistakable, Boeing intends to return to the fight. Publicly, the U.S. manufacturer continues to prioritize stabilizing current programs, including the 737 MAX 7 MAX 10 and the delayed 777X. Privately, however, groundwork is being laid for a long-term challenge to Airbus's dominance. For this maker, waiting would be a strategic mistake. In an industry where development cycles span decades, the company that moves first defines the future. This is why the company views proactive development not as a defensive move, but as a necessity. The successor to the A320neo is not about reacting to today's competition, it is about locking in leadership for the next 20 to 30 years. And that brings us to the most intriguing question of all, what will Airbus's next generation single aisle aircraft actually look like, and how far will it go in reshaping commercial aviation? By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. At first glance, Airbus's next generation narrowbody may not look radically different from today's aircraft, and that is entirely intentional. Rather than abandoning decades of proven design philosophy, Airbus is expected to retain the familiar tube and wing configuration. This approach ensures continuity across the fleet, pilots can transition more easily, Airlines avoid costly retraining cycles, and crucially, the aircraft remains compatible with existing airport gates, taxiways, and ground infrastructure worldwide. But beneath that familiar silhouette lies something far more ambitious. This future aircraft is being designed to deliver a 20-30% to improvement in fuel efficiency compared to today's A320neo family while operating on 100% sustainable aviation fuel SAF. In other words, what appears evolutionary on the outside may be revolutionary under the skin. And nowhere is that more evident than in the engine. Throughout 2025, industry speculation has overwhelmingly focused on propulsion. The leading candidate, despite lingering skepticism, is the CFM Rise open fan engine. 
Early visuals released through Safran and CFM videos show an aircraft that otherwise resembles an A320 or A321neo, but with something strikingly unfamiliar hanging under the wings, large unducted fan blades completely exposed to the airflow. No traditional nacelle, no enclosed turbofan. That alone makes the design visually jarring and deeply intriguing. The CFM Rise concept, short for Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines, replaces the conventional turbofan with a highly efficient open fan architecture. By eliminating the nacelle and dramatically increasing the bypass ratio, the engine promises more than a 20% reduction in fuel burn and carbon dioxide emissions compared to today's LEAP engines. But such gains do not come without challenges. Noise has long been of the biggest concern surrounding open fan designs. Blade containment integration with the airframe and maintaining jet-like cruise speeds are all significant technical hurdles. CFM claims to be addressing these through advanced composite fan blades, optimized blade geometry, and carefully engineered aircraft integration. Moreover, safety is another critical issue. Unlike ducted engines, open fans lack a physical casing to contain a blade failure. The manufacturer has acknowledged this challenge and is reportedly developing new containment and shielding strategies combined with strict operational margins. Despite the skepticism, momentum is clearly building. The RISE program now includes a compact core hybrid electric elements and an ambitious test campaign. Flight testing aboard an Airbus A380 testbed is expected toward the late 2020s, a major milestone that could determine whether this engine truly becomes the heart of Airbus's next single-aisle aircraft. Rumors suggest the official program launch could occur around 2030, with entry into service targeted for the mid to late 2030s. Not only that, if the engine draws the most attention, the wings may quietly deliver just as much efficiency. Airbus's next-generation narrowbody is expected to feature significantly longer thinner wings with a high aspect ratio exceeding 15 compared to roughly 9 to 10 on today's A320neo. These wings are designed to reduce drag while increasing lift classic aerodynamic efficiency pushed to new extremes. But longer wings introduce a practical problem airport compatibility. Therefore, Airbus found a solution, folding wingtips. On the ground, the outer portions of the wings fold upward, allowing the aircraft to fit within existing airport gate limits. Once airborne, the wingtips extend, unlocking a 5-10% to 10 or greater efficiency gain during cruise. Beyond length, these wings are also expected to be smarter. The aircraft provider is actively developing adaptive and morphing wing technologies inspired in part by biology, how birds subtly reshape their wings in response to airflow. Semi-flexible aerodynamic hinges allow the wing to bend under gust loads, reducing structural stress and weight. Multifunction trailing edges, pop-up control surfaces, and advanced flaps further fine-tune airflow in real time. These concepts are not theoretical. Airbus's Extra Performance Wing Demonstrator has already been fully integrated onto a Cessna Citation 7 test aircraft as of 2025. Ground testing is underway with first flight tests scheduled for 2026, a crucial step toward validating these technologies for commercial service. Beyond engines and wings, this next single aisle will incorporate a suite of enabling technologies designed to squeeze efficiency from every system on board. Next generation lightweight composite materials will reduce structural mass without compromising strength. A hybrid electric architecture powered by advanced batteries will support non-propulsive systems and potentially assist propulsion during certain flight phases. Electric taxiing could eliminate fuel burn on the ground. More efficient environmental control systems will reduce energy demand for cabin pressurization and air conditioning. And at the core of it all will be a fully digital aircraft architecture built around an advanced fly-by-wire system designed for higher levels of automation and safety. These developments build on Airbus's long-running initiatives, including the Wing of Tomorrow program and broader efforts toward integrated connected aircraft design. As of the end of 2025, this single aisle remains firmly in the pre-development phase. Technologies are being matured through demonstrators rather than locked into a final design. The extra performance wing has reached full integration on its test aircraft. The CFM RISE program continues to log major milestones in composite fan blade development and core testing and the maker has made it clear that no final engine selection has yet been made. That decision is expected sometime between 2027 and 2030, followed by a formal program launch around 2030 with entry into service targeted for the second half of the 2030s. From a distance, the aircraft may look reassuringly familiar, but look closer and it becomes clear that this is not just another iteration of the A320neo. It is a carefully calculated step toward a future where efficiency, sustainability, and performance must all advance together. Finally, this aircraft matters so much to Airbus. 
To understand why this provider is investing so heavily in a successor to the A320neo, you first have to understand one simple reality. The A320 family is the backbone of Airbus itself. This single aircraft line generates the majority of the European maker's commercial aircraft revenue and serves as the primary driver of profit across the entire company. In the first nine months of 2025 alone, Airbus's commercial aircraft division, dominated by A320 Neo production, contributed to consolidated revenues of 47.4 billion euros, all while maintaining stable margins despite ongoing supply chain disruptions. In other words, when the A320 flies, the company thrives, and by the end of 2025, that dominance reached a historic milestone. For the first time in modern aviation history, this manufacturer's A320 family overtook Boeing's 737 as the most delivered passenger aircraft in the world. As of November 20th, 25, roughly 12, 375 A320 family aircraft had been delivered, edging past the 12, 327 deliveries of the 737 program. The symbolic weight of that moment cannot be overstated. This milestone officially reached in October 2025 with a delivery to Flyness marked the end of decades of Boeing dominance in the narrowbody market. It was not just a numerical victory, but a strategic one. The maker also maintained a commanding lead in total orders with over 19,000 A320 family orders compared to approximately 17,100 orders for Boeing's 737. Yet paradoxically, this triumph is precisely why Airbus cannot afford complacency. The single-aisle market is the largest and most profitable segment in commercial aviation. It accounts for the majority of global aircraft demand driven by low-cost carriers' regional growth, particularly across Asia, and massive fleet replacement cycles. This provider currently holds roughly 60% market share in this segment, supported by a colossal backlog of more than 8,600 aircraft, the vast majority of them A320neo variants. At current production rates, that backlog alone could sustain the European maker's narrowbody output for a full decade. To capitalize on this demand, it continues to push production higher. Despite recent supply chain challenges, the company is still targeting a rate of 75 A320 family aircraft per month by 2027. Airlines do not buy airplanes for five years. They buy them for 20 to 30. That means any failure to innovate today risks surrendering market share far into the future. A successful A320 successor is therefore not optional, it is existential. Boeing's 737 MAX may still be recovering, but it will not remain static forever. A stabilized production system, followed by a next-generation design, could gradually claw back lost ground. At the same time, emerging competitors, most notably China's COMAX C919, are steadily improving supported by enormous domestic demand and long-term state backing. In the narrow-body segment where margins are highest due to production volume, even a small erosion of market share translates into billions of dollars in lost revenue over the lifespan of a program. For Airbus, failing to lead in this space would weaken the strongest pillar of its entire commercial aircraft business. This is why the manufacturer is approaching its next single-aisle aircraft not as a gamble but as a carefully calculated investment in long-term dominance. The goal is not just to defend today's position, but to lock in leadership for the next generation of airlines operating under stricter environmental regulations and rising fuel costs. Sustainability efficiency and scalability are no longer optional advantages, they are prerequisites for survival. The successor to the A320neo is Airbus's answer to that reality. So what do you think does Airbus really need to launch this new aircraft, or is continuing with the A320 enough? Thank you for joining us today and we wish you safe flights.